With the Mesh to Meta plugin, we can see Thomas Sackman's original sculpted character transform into a metahuman and come to life instantly in the metahuman creator within minutes. As demonstrated in the previous video, we can also achieve different variations from the same head mesh depending on how the trackers interpret the topology. If you've never used the creator, 3 Laterals art director Alexander Popov and concept artist Alexa Brasic take you through the entire MetaHuman creator in a video released by Unreal Engine on their YouTube channel. One of the things they demonstrate is a gender-to-gender -gender transformation, and it highlights what can be achieved easily. With the release of the plugin, some updates to the creator include new hair options and clothing options. Starting with a fully rigged face and body, one of the unique customization features specific to the plugin is the region influence, which allows you to blend the influence between your mesh and the MetaHuman template mesh. You can control the influence on individual sections of the face, and this was extremely useful as we used this only on specific areas that needed to be adjusted. We started by making customizations to the hair using some of the new hair options, as this can influence the way the shape of the face looks. The new brow options were very helpful as the brows can also influence the way the shape of the brow area appears. There is a lot of creative control with the eyes, and one of the important modifications were to be able to reduce the brightness of the eyes and increase the vascularity, which added that additional touch of realism. When working with facial performances that involve dialogue, having the freedom to customize the teeth helps, as teeth are never perfect. And when lighting those performances, being able to modify the material parameters of the brightness of the teeth, gum color, and roughness can take that level of realism even further. When choosing the eyelashes, viewing this in clay mode makes it easier to see where the eyelashes are interacting with the eyelid. This was useful as I had to reduce the region influence of the inner eye to help fit the lashes more precisely to the eyelids. I also used the region influence on the neck in order to adjust the neck size so that it matched proportionately to Thomas's custom body morph. Finishing this process was going through the new facial ROMs that have been added to the creator, as this allowed us to view the expressions first by seeing how the face behaves when making certain expressions. The final test that determines if any other modifications need to be made is to test the face control rig board. By doing so, I was able to see that the region influence of the eyes had to be adjusted for the eyelashes to fit better and also that the region influence of the neck needed to be reduced. In the next video, I walk you through this process and also show you how to use the new facial poses that have been added, which include various expressions and visemes that are extremely useful in this testing process.